morning everyone. I'm Bill Nash, Carroll County Commander of Post 200 American Legion, and I'm also the Carroll County Commander. We are in front of the Hampstead War Memorial. Uh, remembering our falling heroes once a year is not enough. Family members remember every day. We owe it to those heroes and our loved ones to make sure that their sacrifices are remembered and their service to our nation will always be honored. Commissioner Weaver asked that I include what memory I have of Memorial Day and what it means to me. It's a day of reflection and memory of my family members that served. I have five uncles, two cousins, both brothers, my father-in-law and my father and my great-grandfather who served in World War I and World War II on this wall. I think about the time that they were away from their families and the sacrifices and worry their families included. Our guest speakers today are Jim Manis, Post 200 Chaplain, Jack Bowersox, our incoming Post 200 Commander, Bill Murphy, Executive Director of Friends of the DAV, Chris Nevin, Mayor of Hampstead, and Dick Weaver, County Commissioner. Our Chaplain would like to offer prayer. Uncover. Almighty God, Father of all mankind and Judge of over nations, we ask you to bless this memorial service and to look down with favor and understanding upon the hearts of those who are gathered here to pay their tribute to those who have made the supreme sacrifice for the benefit of all free men everywhere. Their lives glorious before us, their deeds are, are a daily inspiration for those like ourselves who remain in their home communities. In God we trust and may the faith of our fathers guide, protect, and sustain our people. Amen. Amen. Cover. Jack Firesox. Good morning. My name is Jack Firesox. And as Bill mentioned, I'm the incoming commander of Post 200. Today, Memorial Day, we honor the men and women who have made the ultimate sacrifice for this country. More than 1.1 million men and women have died in wartime throughout the span of our nation's history. To put this in better perspective, that's 4,500 people per year, 12 people per day for the last 245 years. These numbers should truly humble us as they represent people, individuals, brothers, husbands, mothers, sisters, and friends. These were people woven into the fabric of communities across the nation. They were loved, they were mourned, and they are missed. Personally, I cannot begin to comprehend the moment when you send your loved one off to war. You watch them disappear out of the line of sight, knowing it may very well be the last time you ever see them. It is all too easy for those who have never suffered such losses to see past the holes that were left in the families and communities. That's simply human nature. As Franklin Delano Roosevelt once said, those who have long enjoyed privileges as we enjoy forget in time that men and women have died to win them. Memorial Day is a chance to reflect on our nation's innumerable freedoms. It is an important day on which we acknowledge the reality that every Gold Star family knows. Our way of life has been shaped and made possible by those who served and by those who were lost. In March of 2019, President Trump posthumously awarded the Medal of Honor to Army Staff Sergeant Travis Atkins of Bozeman, Montana, who was killed in Iraq June 1, 2007. Staff Sergeant Atkins died shielding three of his fellow soldiers from a suicide bomber's detonation. At the Medal of Honor ceremony, Elaine Atkins, Travis's mother, said, you know, a parent always realizes that some of them are not going to come back. This is the reality of military service, and this is what we take to heart on Memorial Day. I believe that we must ensure that the sacrifices made by our nation's finest and bravest never go unappreciated, and that their memories are never forgotten. I hope you keep our military men and women and the sacrifices they make every day close to your heart throughout the re today and throughout the rest of the year. God bless you, God bless our fallen heroes, and God bless America. 
Bill Murphy. Good morning, I'm Bill Murphy, and I'm the Executive Director of Friends of Disabled American Veterans in Carroll County. We provide free transportation for the 14,000 veterans here in Carroll County. I'd like to just talk today about freedom. Freedom is, we are, in the words of Ronald Reagan, we are forever indebted to those who have given their lives that we might be free. Reagan also said, and I quote, if we lose freedom here, there is no place to escape. This is the last stance on earth. And I believe that freedom is one of the most important things that we can have here in the United States. What I have in front of you right here is a freedom bucket. What this freedom represents, this bucket represents, is that in the words of Benjamin Franklin, freedom is when you go into a well with this bucket and you pull it back up and you have a bucket full of water. What freedom is, is when you put that bucket down into the water and you come up and there's no water in that well. What it is is that we have so much complacency here in the United States that we're taking freedom for granted. And I just thank God that we live in a country that we believe in freedom and that we should support the, all those that support freedom. It's under attack today. We have a divided country. We have one in one side, one in the other. And a country that's divided cannot survive. It's been 250 years since we've had uh, this country and it's one of the longest and best and free, most freedom in the world. And I remember going up to Gettysburg with the Gettysburg Address that, uh, be, that uh, President uh, Abraham Lincoln said almost 250 years ago, that we are a country that all those that have died up there, that they did not die in vain, that their memory should live on and that God will protect us. And I thank, uh, thank you all for listening to me and thank you for your support of veterans here in Carroll County. Mayor Nevin. Thank you, Commander Nash. I'm gonna take the municipal perspective and particularly the Hampstead perspective. This year, we mark Memorial Day with some unique and hopefully only one time virtual remembered ceremonies. This recording is being done here at Hampstead's War Memorial in the heart of our town. Normally, we would have a very well attended and solemn ceremony on Memorial Day with people surrounding this memorial. This year, the virus forces an adjustment. However, as we spend time this holiday weekend enjoying the company of family and friends, it's important we consider the real reason for this day, to remember those who've lost their lives serving our country. This year, we celebrate the 75th anniversaries of victory in Europe and Japan. As time marches on and the memory of the sacrifices made by so many fades, it is important for us to pass on our history. We need to talk to our sons and daughters of the selfless service by those of prior generations that allows them to enjoy the life they have today. We should take this opportunity to teach them that service men and women fought and died in countries far from loved ones, in places and situations that we could not have imagined, where everything was foreign and nothing resembled the comforts of home. That sense of service is a testament to understanding causes greater than oneself and the illustration of the true American spirit. It is important to Hampstead's history and who we are as a town today that this ceremony is being recorded here on Main Street at our War Memorial to remember those who serve from our community. Many of us travel by this memorial every day on our way to work, shopping, or just getting our children and grandchildren from one activity to the next. As a result, it serves as a constant reminder of the service and sacrifices made by local residents. As you drive through many of Carroll's towns and cities, I hope you notice the military banners that will be on display again this year. This program was, was created to pay tribute to the brave men and women who are serving, have served, or have given their life in the line of duty while serving in the armed services. In Hampstead, the banners are displayed until September and is another small way that our residents and our, our town remembers the service of local residents. I want to thank the American Legion for organizing this service through the years, 
I also want to offer my thanks to American Legion Commander Bill Nash and Commissioner Dick Weaver for asking me to participate in this year's reported service as we honor the men and women for their sacrifices and those of their surviving families. I personally want to express my appreciation to those who have served our country and those who have lost loved ones serving in our armed forces. Thank you for your sacrifice and the freedoms we enjoy as a result. You're in our thoughts and prayers this Memorial Day. God bless you. Commissioner Weaver. Oops. Good morning. This year as I stand at the War Memorial in Hampstead, I don't see the hundreds of people gathered to honor the men and women who died while serving in the military. This year we won't be seeing many of the traditional parades or as many people wearing the red poppy or families taking weekend trips and having parties and barbecues. But this year we will be honoring those military personnel virtually. While our methods may be different, our mission remains unchanged. We remember and never forget. What does Memorial Day mean to me? My grandfather, my father, and I all served. We were all fortunate to come home. Our friends and fa families were spared the devastation of losing a loved one. Listed on the walls of this war memorial are the names of those who served. Many like us, I, I knew some of them personally. I went to school with them. I knew their families. They were part of the fabric of my life. They were, uh, as they were too many. I remember one young Marine whose name is on the wall. I last saw him when he was home on leave before going to Vietnam. He returned home six weeks later to be buried. The depth and reality I felt at that funeral is something I will never forget. But that is why we're here. This is how we attempt to repay the impossible debt, to remember and honor those who laid down their lives for us. This year, I'd also like to pay a particular remembrance to a soldier who came home from Vietnam only to continue to help the veterans get the benefits they earned while serving. Mike, Mad Dog Sater, spent years of his life helping veterans, getting benefits, and navigating through the VA to get the medical assistance they earned. Even though he is no longer with us, his spirit lives through the Mad Dog shuttle buses that take veterans to VA hospitals uh, throughout the state. And he's also very instrumental in helping getting the Veterans Advisory Council uh, form, which uh, Bill Nash and uh, Bill Murray both serve on uh, today. I use every opportunity I have to tell veterans about Mad Dog and what he started in Carroll County. Today we have three part-time coordinators continuing the work that Mad Dog started. Never forget. As you watch this video, please take time to reflect on the freedoms we enjoy as Americans. These freedoms never come cheap. I ask you to join me at 3 o'clock today for the National Moment of Remembrance. If you're able to safely do so, I hope you're able to visit a cemetery or a memorial and place an American flag on the grave of an, Amer on the grave of an, an American who gave their life uh, for their country. I, for one, have confidence in the United States of America and what it stands for and confidence in our ability to defend this country and a way of life no matter what obstacle is thrown at us. I'm asking the video team today to scan this wall and share the names of those who served uh, the country. And at 3 o'clock, please take a couple of minutes to stop what you're doing and remember those who paid the ultimate sacrifice. Thank you and have a safe Memorial Day. I'd like to thank all of our guest speakers today. The chaplain will offer a closing prayer. Uncover. <clears throat> we pray for all those who have given their lives in the service of our country, and for those, our fellow veterans, who have served this nation both in time of battle and in time of peace and are now at rest. Grant them your peace. May light perpetually shine upon them. May the good work which you have begun in them be brought to perfection. That this land may prosper and that there may be everlasting peace throughout our world. All this we ask of you, almighty Cre creator, 
In your name, amen. Thank you for allowing your children to watch. In a short time, they will be the leaders of our country. Knowing the sacrifices made in our history, we hope guide them in our future. Thank you for taking the time to watch. This concludes our program. Hopefully, we will be able to have a ceremony again next year without the coronavirus. God bless you and our country. Keep our troops in your prayers. Be safe.